So we are doing um, tapping. So EFT and TFT today. Um, so we'll not be doing Reiki today, um, but we are going to do a few tapping sequences for anxiety. Um, you can use the same tapping sequences for whatever you have going on right now, stress, um, being exhausted physically, mentally, emotionally, so anything that's causing you to have any kind of anxiety or if you have an anxiety condition or depression condition. Hello. Um, so yes, we will do tapping. If you've never done uh, tapping sequences or tapping session before, we always start by giving your, um, whatever you're going through, a number. Um, so I'm going to use the SUE scale. So we're going to give the number between one and 10, um, 10 being the worst you've ever felt this and one being not at all. Um, so our goal is to get the number lower. So since we are intending that the session be heavily based on anxiety, um, stress, depression, you know, issues like that, um, we're just going to say, how's your anxiety doing or how's your stress doing between 1 and 10? 10 being the worst, 1 being um, the best you've ever felt that condition. Okay, so once you give it a number, um, then we'll just focus on getting that number lower throughout the sequence. We'll do it a couple of times. So I will say phrases. Um, you can say things that are similar to that. You can change it up to fit your needs. Uh, I'm going to be saying anxiety the whole time because that's what I suffer from the most. Um, and then when we get to the section where I ask you to hum, you can hum any tune you want. You can hum random something. You can hum um, just a solid sound, whatever you feel called to hum. That's what you can have. Okay. Okay. So um, tap along with me um, on the places that I tap. You can use either hand. There's no, there's no giving or receiving hand. Um, most often it's your dominant hand, but on certain tapping points, you can do two hands. Actually on all of them, you can, well, most of them you can do two hands. So it's up to you, except for here. When you're tapping on your chest, you can tap on both sides. You can pat on the middle. You can kind of give yourself a little rub there too. Okay, so if you're ready to begin, then let's begin. We're gonna start with our karate chop point. One finger, two fingers, four fingers, whatever you feel called to do. And we're gonna start tapping on that karate chop point. Okay. Long, slow, deep breaths except for when you're talking. <sighs> okay, so now we're gonna say, just for today, even though I'm feeling anxious, I completely love and accept myself. Okay, eyebrow, so right here. Even though I feel this anxiety weighing heavy on me, it's okay. Under the eye, I'm feeling anxious, but I know that I'll be okay. Under your arm, kind of not in your armpit, but right there. Even though my anxiety feels crippling at times, I can get through this. Okay, here's our collarbone. Take a deep breath. Even though I feel my anxiety in my chest, sometimes it makes it hard to breathe. I know that I will be okay. Okay, 
for this portion, you're going to be tapping here for a while in between these two knuckles right here, back of the hand. Just go ahead and tap. We're not counting it out. We're going to internalize. Instead of saying your phrases out loud, you're going to say them in your mind. You're going to think about your anxiety. Think about what's causing you anxiety, what's causing you stress, what's causing you fear, what's causing you to be sad or angry. Just think about it, visualize it in your mind, and breathe through it. Just know that no matter what you're going through, it's going to be okay. You're doing the best that you can, and that's all that you can do. It's not permanent. It won't last forever. And you're stronger because of it. You're healing every day. Okay, we're going to be here for a while, so if you want to kind of Make sure your hands are in a comfortable position. We're gonna close our eyes. Open your eyes and look to center. Close your eyes. Open and look down and to your left. Look to center. Look down and to your right. Look to center. Roll your eyes all the way around. Roll them in the opposite direction. I want you to hum a tune, just a little bit of any tune. Now count from one to five out loud. One, two, three, four, five. Count from five to one out loud. Five. Four, three, two, one. I want you to hum again any tune. Okay, now we're gonna do our eye roll again, all the way around, back to center. All the way around in the opposite direction, back to center. Now place your hands down. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. While we're in this space, I want you to think of something that you're grateful for, anything that makes you happy that you can show love and gratitude towards. Hold that in your mind. That's a bright light. <laughs> Hold that feeling of love and gratitude. And just breathe. Okay, you can open your eyes and reassess your number. That light was blinding. What number you gave yourself at the beginning, we should be getting lower. If you're just joining, we're going to give our anxiety, our fear, our anger, our depression, our um, sadness, our overwhelming guilt, grief, whatever it is that you're going through, you're going to give it a number between 1 and 10. 10 being the worst you've ever felt it, and 1 being basically not at all. So we're going 1 to 10. So if you're 34, then you're going to give your number a 10. Okay, so if you're at a 10, or if you're at anything higher than a three, we're gonna work on getting that number down. Sometimes with anxiety or anything that we're going through, um, in the time we're going through it, we can't get lower than a, a three or four or two. Um, sometimes that's just where we live, that's just our baseline. So for me, my anxiety is usually always at like a three. 
I never get it down too low. Um, and that's okay. It's manageable for me. So you're going to do this sequence as many times as you need to until you feel relief from whatever it is you're going through. So we're going to go through it one more time. Again, give yourself a number between 1 and 10. You can write it down in the comments. You can write it on a piece of paper. You can just memorize it. I usually like to have people write it down. It's just easier when you don't have to try to think about that number. Um, again, you can just see it and you can reassess from there. So um, I'm going to give my anxiety about a five. Um, yeah, so this is the EFT and TFT sequence for anxiety and panic attacks. Um, so obviously you're not going to be having a panic attack right now. If you are, then, you know, you can't function enough to go along with this sequence, but it's for people who do suffer from panic attacks as well. Um, it's to just help regulate things. And when you do feel like, feel yourself getting into a panic, you can kind of break down the sequence and hopefully relieve yourself from the panic state. Thank you so much for the paper crane. This is called EFT and TFT tapping. So it's energy tapping. EFT is an emotional freedom technique and TFT is thought field therapy. So they're really similar. They're tapping on meridian points throughout your body to help regulate that energy, transmute um, distress that you're having within your body um, to relieve tension and all, all sorts of other things that you have going on. Um, EFT is more of a spoken thing that you're doing. You're tapping and you're speaking it out loud. TFT, yeah, EFT and TFT, thought field therapy. Um, and TFT is more of a thought therapy, so it makes sense. It's easier to remember TFT because it's we're internalizing that, we're thinking about it instead of saying, you know, phrases. Okay, so let's get started again. Just start um, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, just take a nice, long, slow, deep breath in and out. We're going to start with our karate chop point. Again, either hand will work. It doesn't matter which hand you use. Okay, we're tapping right here on the, the part of your hands on the outside. And you'll repeat the phrases I'm saying or you'll say your own for this portion. I feel this anxiety, but it's okay because I completely love and accept myself. I know that I struggle with anxiety, but acceptance is key, and I am willing to accept myself, my past, my present, and my future. Under the eye, My anxiety, it weighs on me, but I know that I'll be okay. Under the arm, I know that I am safe here. I am safe in this space and I am safe within myself. On the collarbones, so right in this area. Take a deep breath here. this heaviness in my chest but I'm working on releasing and I'm going to be okay okay we're gonna be here for a while right in between your last two knuckles tapping on the back of the hands and breathe We're going to internalize these thoughts, so no more phrases. Think about what is causing you heaviness right now. Feel it, visualize it in your mind. 
let that anxiety, that pain, that frustration, let it come through and let it pass with your passing breath. Inhale peace and relaxation and exhale your anxiety. Okay, we're gonna open our eyes and look to center. Close your eyes. Open your eyes and look down and to your left. Look to center. Look down and to your right. Look to center. I want you to hum a tune, any tune. I want you to count out loud from one to five. One, two, three, Count out loud from five to one. Five, four, three, two, one. Hum again, anything you want. Okay, open your eyes. We're gonna do an eye roll all the way around. Back to center, all the way around in the opposite direction. Back to center. Okay, you can put your hands down. Again, I want you to close your eyes and take a deep breath. Envision something that you truly love. This can be a person, a place. It can be yourself. It can be an, um, any object. It can be an animal. It can be anything that you have in your life, physical, non-physical, that you truly love. Hold that loving feeling in your mind. Allow it to flow into your heart space. You can place your hands on your chest to feel that energy flowing. Feel it growing and expanding to your entire body. And breathe. eyes and reassess our numbers. This tapping is for anxiety, um, but again, you can use these tapping points for anything that you have going on in your life. How are you all feeling? Do you feel any better? Is your number coming down at all? Three, two, one. Okay. Good. You're welcome. Thank you for the rose. Okay, so we're going to do a tapping sequence one more time. And then after this next tapping sequence, we're going to go and shift our statements and our, and our thoughts to... Um, more of a, a positive outlook okay so we're going to try to shift that so we'll do a couple more tapping sequences but one right in the same place that we're at now and then we're going to shift that um, thought and oh, sorry and statement thank you so much for the popcorn i don't think i've seen popcorn before that's exciting <laughs> okay are you ready All right, let's go again. That emotion to come down, but another just like up. Yes, that's that's fine. Um, so if your number comes down to a manageable number, a manageable place, and something else is taking its space, and that just means that you have multiple things going on, multiple emotions, which is common. We're human. We have complex emotions. Um, we have lots of stuff going on at, at the same time. So if you're able to get one number to come down and feel a little more relaxed about that, you can always switch what you're tapping for to something else. Um, it's completely okay to do that. And um, 
you know, where you can keep tapping for the same thing and then go back in later and try for something else. Like, I've been tapping for anxiety, my anxiety's coming down, but now I notice that I have a back pain. <laughs> it's probably, I don't know, from something that I did today, but I didn't notice it before because my anxiety was in the front of my mind and I was blocking out that pain. Now that that anxiety is going down, the pain is creeping through. It's the same thing with anything uh, physical or mental or emotional. Okay. All right, let's take a deep breath, get back to it. If you're just joining, give yourself a number between 1 and 10 for what you're feeling right now. 10 being the worst you've ever felt this and 1 being not at all. We're going to try to get that number down. Tap on the points that I tap on. Say the phrases that I say unless you want to change it up to um, benefit what you have going on specifically. Start with our karate chat point. I feel this anxiety weighing heavy on me, but I completely love and accept myself. I know that I'm anxious and sometimes it's overwhelming, but I can get through this. I am going to get through this under the eye. It's okay to feel the way that I'm feeling. It's okay to have the thoughts, the emotions, the triggers, the fears, the anxieties, the depression. Anything that I'm feeling right now, it's okay. Everything that I'm feeling right now is okay. Under the arm. I am safe in this moment. I am safe within myself. I am safe in this space. Sometimes I have a heaviness in my chest that weighs on me. It makes it hard to think and breathe and function. But this is not permanent. I can let this feeling pass with my passing breath. Take a deep breath. I'm going to be okay. One more time, deep breath. I am going to be okay. On to our gamut point. We're going to be here for a while, so make sure your arms are relaxed. We're not counting. We're going to internalize those thoughts. Think about what you have going on right now in your life. Think about that anxiety. You feel it in every part of your being. You feel it in every part of your body and your energy and it's too much to bear sometimes. But we're here and we're healing and that's all that matters. Okay, I want you to open your eyes and look to center. Look down into your left, back to center, Look down into your right, back to center, roll your eyes all the way around, back to center, roll them in the opposite direction, back to center. I want you to hum any tune, any sound. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want you to open your eyes and count from one to five out loud. One, two, three, four, five. Count from five to one out loud. Five, four, three, two, one. I want you to hum again any tune. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Roll your eyes all the way around, back to center, the opposite direction, all the way around, back to center. 
Put your hands down. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. This time I want you to envision a version of you that was happy and that was anxiety or stress or whatever it is that you have going on, this version of you was free of that. Envision that version of you. Picture yourself deeply. See what you're doing, what you're wearing, who you're with, if you're by yourself. The sounds of your laughter. See how big your smile is, how bright your eyes are, how happy your soul is. Sit in this moment for a minute and breathe. Continue to see yourself, this version of you that was free of anxiety, that was happy. Allow that feeling of freedom and happiness creep into your physical body. Allow the sound of laughter to ring in your ears. Allow the vision of your smile and your bright, happy eyes to be in your mind. And breathe. drink some water, maybe you need to get up and move around, it's okay. Thank you for the headpiece, I saw it, it was beautiful. Okay, let's reassess our numbers. Where are you at now? I think that my anxiety has um, substantially gone down. I would say it's about a three. I feel really, really relaxed now. So two or three, maybe. Hello. Hello. It's been so long. Are you at work, Sean? Have your numbers gone down at all? Hello. You're here, I know. It's been so long. It helped your headache, that's awesome. Usually tapping points around the eyes usually do help headaches. So, yeah. It's good for headaches. So that's why I said, even though this tapping sequence is mainly for um, anxiety, panic attacks, you know, heaviness in your mind. Um, you can use it for anything. This is EFT and TFT tapping. So there are techniques. Um, they were actually both developed by um, therapists, psychologists, um, and they are techniques for tapping on meridian points throughout your body to help um, regulate the energy that you have going on to transmute any heaviness that you might have, any anxiety that you might have, um, or physical pain, mental, emotional distress, anything. So that's what we're working on. Um, it's pretty interesting. Some of the TFT techniques are a little bit more strange to think about, like humming and rolling your eyes but it, it really is amazing if you give it a chance and you actually you know, put forth the effort and, and um, intention to relax and, and release. So. You're welcome.
You got insane crystals. What crystals did you get? You're welcome. So on our next tapping sequence, um, we are going to shift our statements and our beliefs. So instead of having statements that are more leaning towards the heavy side, um, the, the negative side, I don't like to say negative, but the heavier side um, of energy, we are going to shift those to be a little bit more positive. There's always a balance in what you're going through. There's always a positive and a negative. So we're gonna try to focus more on the positive now. Now that most of you, your numbers have gone down a little, I think it's safe to start shifting that mindset. Okay, all right, if you're ready, we can get started. And my phone just wanted to let me know that I have an update. <laughs> so, sorry if it paused. Okay, we'll start by just taking a deep breath in and out. Close your eyes. We're gonna start with our karate chat point. You can use one finger, two fingers, either hand, it doesn't matter. Even though I feel this anxiety, I completely love and accept myself. Love and acceptance for myself comes easily. I am willing to let go of anything that is not serving me to my highest good. to find joy and happiness in things around me. Your chest. The heaviness in my chest is fading and I'm able to breathe deeply. Take a deep breath. I release and let go. I'm able to free myself. I am my own hero. Okay, we're on to our gamut point between these two knuckles. We're gonna be here for a while, so relax your arms. Okay, we're gonna close our eyes. We're internalizing from here on out, so no more phrases, just think. Think about yourself. Think about all the ways that you can serve yourself to release this heaviness that you have going on. Think about accepting yourself, accepting your past, forgiving yourself, letting go of grief, Shame, embarrassment, struggles, fear, anger, rage. Think about how much more room you would have within your mind, body, and energy if you let go of those and learn to love yourself and accept yourself and project that outward to the world. Okay, open your eyes and look to center. Keep tapping. Look down and to your left. Look back to center. Down and to your right. Look back to center. I want you to hum any tune. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Roll your eyes all the way around to center. 
Roll your eyes the opposite direction. Back to center. Hum again, any tune. Count out loud from one to five. One, two, three, four, five. Count out loud from five to one. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll your eyes all the way around. Back to center. Roll your eyes in the opposite direction. Back to center. Put your hands down. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Keep your eyes closed and visualize again yourself at a happier time in your life. This can be the same visualization you just had or you can pick a new time in your life when you are free of anxiety or stress or whatever it is that you have going on. I want you to see yourself from an outside perspective, like you're a third party, like you're standing there watching you live your life in happiness. What are you doing at this time? Who are you with? What are you wearing? What smells can you smell from this time? What do you see around you? Really hone in on those senses and visualize yourself happy and free. Hear the sounds of laughter and envision the smile that was on your face and the light that was in your eyes. Hold that happiness in. Hold that feeling in your mind. Allow it to creep throughout your energy centers into your heart. You can place your hand on your heart. Allow that feeling to spread throughout your entire body happiness, love, freedom, free from the heaviness that you're holding on to in your present body. Stay here in this moment with this feeling for a few moments and breathe. With each breath, allow yourself to release the anxiety. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and we'll reassess our numbers. You have kittens to tend to. Awesome. Kittens or animals in general are so therapeutic. Um, they're great. Okay, so are we reassessing our numbers? How do we feel? You can get water if you need to. You can stretch, shake it out, move around. for most people. If it still feels like it's too much, then um, 
keep going through the sequence. Courtney, if you got here late, um, so we started with our um, our typical statements, our typical beliefs, and we're slowly starting to shift into more positive ones, some positive affirmations, some things to say to yourself. Um, so if you missed all the beginning work, then um, I do have other videos for tapping. I would find not one that's specified for something, but the, the first one that I did that's just a general tapping and go through those. Um, I'll also try to put this on YouTube as well. Um, if I didn't say it, then they're, they're on YouTube, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, from a 6 to an 8, from a 4 to an 8, to a 7, 4, okay, good. We're getting there. We'll go through one more round of tapping, and then whenever this is available to download, I'll download it and try to put it on YouTube for you um, to try to go through this again. Okay, so if you're just getting here or you haven't done this before, we're giving our anxiety a number between 1 and 10, 10 being the worst you've ever felt it and 1 being not at all. Um, we've gone through three, three of these tapping sequences already. Um, so we're starting to shift our statements and our thoughts now, but you can still join. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad this was helpful. <sighs> I'm feeling better. My anxiety is getting better, so I'm happy about that. Um, and if you're not having anxiety, you can use this for whatever it is that you are having right now. So if I say anxiety, you can just shift that statement to whatever it is that you need to. For the first half, we'll be saying our statements out loud, and the second half, we'll be thinking about it. Um, when I ask you to hum, hum anything that you feel comfortable humming, um, any song that you know, any, um, just a random noise, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so let's take a deep breath, close our eyes. open our eyes and start with our karate chop point. Either hand is fine. You can use two hands. It's up to you. Even though I have anxiety often, I completely love and accept myself. Anxiety is not something to be ashamed of or to fear or to hold back. Accept it, accept yourself, and work on releasing the things that cause you anxiety. And then the eyes. I know that I am loved. I choose happiness and freedom, freedom from the pains that I have with this anxiety under the arm. I am safe here. I am safe in this space. I am safe within myself. I am done fighting myself. When I feel change in a positive way, I am able to accept it. I am able to welcome it with love and gratitude. Take a deep breath. I can breathe deeper. I can smile bigger. My eyes are filled with so much more light because I'm learning to love myself. I'm learning to love my past, my present, and my future self. I'm able to change. I'm able to accept. 
and I am able to forgive. Okay, we're moving on to our gamut series, which is between these two knuckles. You can rest your hands while tapping here. We're going to be here for a while. Close your eyes. We're internalizing now and we're going to think about what we're feeling. I want you to let the feeling of anxiety or stress or anger, I want you to feel it. But I want you to breathe through it. Deep, slow breaths in and out. Exhales, push out those heavy feelings, thoughts, and emotions. While we're in this space, I want you to know that you are doing a great job. You are doing the best that you can do. You are amazing. You are loved. You are such a beautiful spirit. You are accepted here. We're gonna open our eyes and look to center. Look down and to your left. Look back to center. Look down and to your right. Look back to center. Roll your eyes all the way around. Back to center. Roll them in the opposite direction. Back to center. And I want you to hum any tune. <laughs> Count from one to five out loud. One, two, three, four, five. Count from five to one out loud. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll your eyes all the way around, back to center. Roll them all the way around the opposite way, back to center. Hum again. Place your hands in your lap. I want you now to close your eyes and take a deep breath. This time, instead of going backwards, I want you to go forward. I want you to envision the version of yourself that hasn't been yet in this timeline. Envision the version of yourself that is happy, that is free from pain, distress, and anxiety. I want you to see this version. What are you doing? Who are you with? What are you wearing? I want you to smell the scents around you. I want you to hear the sounds of laughter and happiness. I want you to see yourself, your smile, your eyes. Hold that feeling in. Hold that happiness, the freedom, the peace, the joy. Hold that in your mind. Let it spread to your heart. You can place your hand on your chest to feel that energy. Allow that energy to flow through your entire body. Hold that feeling in. Allow that feeling to become one with your physical body. Allow that feeling to stay with you. Mm -hmm. 
breathe deeply. Inhale. And exhale. Before you open your eyes and reassess your number. Has your number changed at all? Do you feel more relaxed? Two, two. That's good. Allison, sometimes we don't get below a two or four or any number um, under five. Sometimes we operate at four or three or two. Um, and that's okay. So if you think that your number is manageable, then you can just go on with your day. Uh, maybe meditate, make sure you take care of yourself, say some positive affirmations. Um, ground your energy, find something to do that you enjoy, that brings you happiness. Um, but if your number is still high, then keep going over the sequences. Hello, I'm doing well, how are you? I'm yawning. I'm so relaxed, I'm yawning. <laughs> this is way different than Reiki because I am doing it to myself and it makes me tired and calm and ready for bed. <laughs> I love tapping too. And so you don't have to have any specific sequence to tap. You can tap anywhere on your body. Um, we have meridians that literally go through every part of our body. So, um, you know, tapping to release trauma on your thighs or on your rib cage, um, tapping on the top of your head, tapping on the back of your neck, um, your shoulders, tapping on your arms, anywhere, tapping on your fingers. So that's part of our gamut series, tapping on our fingers. Um, they all do hold different meridians and they all help with different things. Um, but again, it's, you know, whatever makes you feel calm and relaxed, feel calm and sleepy. <laughs> yes, I'm happy to see you too. Thank you for being here. So thank you all for being here. I feel like we have more people.